Okay, day 15 of the GDT uh, hike. Um, yeah, just pissing down all night. Uh, the fly got a little bit soaked and uh, outside and in, of course. Um, if you look behind me here, that's the brush. I mean, we I had to walk through that shit. There's a little path, but uh, you're just getting um, lambasted with that low-lying willow and... So you're soaked to the ass, uh, cold feet, cold legs. Um, and behind me is uh, Moline uh, River that I've got to ford. From what I understand, it could be calf to knee deep, but you don't know it's been raining all night. Could be a little bit deeper. Uh, the problem with glacial is it's milky, so you can't really see the bottom. So you just have to take your time and uh, yeah. Uh, and be careful. <laughs> okay, the board went well. I chose um, a line right across kind of the Ripley area there where I thought it was a little bit shallower. Um, it was up probably mid-calf uh, mid on me. I'm 6'2", so for a shorter person, it's going to be a little bit deeper. But this is the shit we've got to go through. Supposedly a northwest direction up to the tree line there and uh, hopefully the path appears again. So um, I'll update you about yesterday. Oh, the plan today is to get to Snowbowl, which is about 28 kilometers away, 16.6 uh, kilometers still through the Moline Valley here. Um, and then... Uh, the balance up the skyline trail which is a pretty popular trail so it should be good going there Okay, well, what a, an eventful morning. Um, got up, it was pissing down. Everything was wet and uh, did not have any desire to, to get out of the sleeping bag this morning. Anyway, got on trail about seven o'clock. Uh, forded the Moline, and then after that, I didn't take any videos. I was so, I've never been so cold hiking before. Um, it was a total car wash. Now that willow up to your chest, soaking wet, there was barely a trail underneath, like a 10 inch wide trough. It took me, I've never hiked so fast before. <laughs> just to try to keep the heat. It was a little scary at points, but uh, made it to the head of Moline Lake where there's a restaurant, thank Christ it was open. Oh my God, it was like heaven. Got in there and had a, a big lunch, hot beef barley soup and uh, a chicken entree with all the fixings. That was great, picked up some munchies hot cup of coffee of course and uh, saw the the English and Aussie girl there they had been there most of the morning they had stayed at uh, Trapper campsite uh, last night which was only five kilometers away from the restaurant even after lunch I felt still chilled but I had to keep going got another 12 kilometers to go up to Snowball um, the sun is trying to poke out, but you can see it's starting to drizzle again. So trail is kind of muddy, but at least it's a not bad trail. Kind of like, see if you can see like that. Tomorrow is signal. Should be a bit of a highlight from what I understand. And uh, the last two days hiking should be pretty good to or today's and tomorrow's. And then on Thursday, it'll be just 
a straight drop into Jasper. And that's where my hike will end. Um, it's been a good hike, other than one or two glitches. But anyway, that's the way she goes.